What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the CFL Podcast, or should I say, welcome back to another installment of the CFL Commitment Series. That's right. I'm coming back at you with another commitment, but if you read the title, you already knew that. Now, before we get started, if you would like to donate to the channel, you can do it um, through Cash App. I will put that picture right here. Um, Anything you give is greatly appreciated. If you don't, I appreciate you just by clicking on this video. Um, Now, today's latest commitment, right? comes from Mississippi Valley State. Coach Nancy is doing a great job and is trying to build on the momentum that he has set um, towards the end of the season. Now, he does have to place Keontae Daniels because if I'm not mistaken, Keontae is a senior. Um, I don't know how it goes with him because of COVID. Maybe he has another year left of eligibility. Maybe he does not. But just in case, right, he has gone out and he's found a replacement for Keontae Daniels because this kid, who I'm about to tell you about, comes from Juco, Cahoma Community College to be exact. Now, he goes by the name of Jordan Montgomery, right? He is 6'1", 190 pounds, and like I said, he's a Juco defensive back from Cahoma Community College. Now, he is originally from Biloxi, Biloxi, Mississippi, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but y'all can let me know down down below in the comments if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, that he went to Biloxi High School in Mississippi. Now, looking at the tape, right, dude is a real life ball hawk. As a matter of fact, he has ball hawk in his bio on Twitter, so he's serious about it. He's about that life, right? So he is a a real life ball hawk who is very instinctive, right? Like, I mean, as soon as the ball is out, it's it's like he reads the play and he's on it just like that. I love the dude's game. Um, Also, he will get dirty and he will tackle somebody. Like, he's not afraid to get his hands dirty and make the tackle. As a matter of fact, dude really wraps up when he makes a tackle and that's what you love to see because as you know with most dbs they like to just dive at legs and um hope for the best and everything like that usually it works out but most of the time it doesn't in the wrong kinds of situations so i i can really appreciate the fact that jordan can really go up and make the tackle if need be now also like i said he is i suspect that he would be a replacement for keontae daniels um like I said, if Keontae has another year of eligibility because of COVID, then that's even better, right? Because now Coach Dancy has, you know, another another potential uh, gym. Well, this guy is a gym. I think he's a gym. But he has another great player uh, to bring back and to help propel Mississippi Valley forward next season. We saw what they did to Prairie View, right? Those DBs were sticking with those receivers. But... He's needed. He's needed, right? Mississippi Valley State can always get better because they did finish 4-7. and seven. Um, Even though they were competitive, they weren't able to really pull games out. So Jordan is needed along with other talent that they'll be getting. So although Mississippi Valley State was first in picks this season, which is a stat that nobody really talks about, they were first in picks in the, in the SWAC. Um, they had nobody in the top 10 as far as past deflections go, right? And I think, I I really do believe Jordan Montgomery comes in and he changes that for Mississippi Valley State. Uh, you know what? I can really appreciate Valley for what they're doing, right? You got Coach Dancy. They got a lot of momentum going for themselves. As a matter of fact, you know, I know we talk trash about the field. I know I have. Um, they're getting artificial turf. I think I think they're getting turf next season. So, you know, excited for that for them. And honestly, it's interesting to see how many more kids that Coach Dancy can pull uh, to Valley because I think, I really do think that if he gets – if he if he gets the team that he wants, right, the team that that he envisions, um, watch them take off. Watch them take off next year. Valley, just like I said uh, before this season started, that Valley was gonna shock a lot of people with how competitive they were. I think Valley takes that next step next year. I do. I think they take that next step and they finish at five hundred. I'm not even gonna say above five hundred. I think they finish at five hundred. Um, but yeah, that's all I have on him. This was not going to be a long video in any way, shape, or form. Um, if you would like to see the other guy that Mississippi Valley State has um, offered and got the commitment from, Catavius Taylor, the wide receiver, you can do so. I will put that picture up for you to visit that video as well. Um, but with that being said, man, 
You are watching the CFL Podcast. I go by the name of Kobe, and I'm out. Peace.